making a vegetarian breakfast pizza. I just love these, they're super delicious. And uh, we're melting our butter down. Got about a tablespoon of butter here. And we're just gonna melt this down, get it started. While that is melting, I'm gonna mix about a tablespoon of half and half into four eggs. This is gonna make about two pizzas, um, two small non pizzas. We've got four eggs and a tablespoon of half and half, about, maybe a little more. And we wanna get those mixed up really well. So then once our butter is melted, which it's almost melted here, we can get this down, put it up on our side. We're gonna saute, start sauteing some of our vegetables up. We have got about, we've got one mushroom cut up into pieces. We're gonna throw that in, we're on medium heat. Um, and then we've got uh, about a tablespoon of onions. We're gonna throw those in there. Then we've got one clove of garlic. We're gonna run through the garlic press real quick. And we'll mix all that up. And we'll start getting that cooking. Once our onions are starting to get clear, then we're going to add our eggs in. We don't want to cook this too high because it'll scorch it and don't want it to taste scorched. So I'm going to throw in a little bit of the salt and pepper. I like that. And then a little bit of salt. And we're going to keep stirring this. We got a bunch of yummy ingredients we're gonna put in here. Make it nice and healthy and delicious. Okay, our onions are starting to get a little clear. We don't wanna overcook them because they're gonna cook in the oven as well and with the eggs. So, about there, we're going to add in our eggs. Again, we've got four eggs and about a tablespoon of half and half in here. Just makes them a little more fluffy, I think. We always use half and half. We're also going to throw in a nice, healthy handful of spinach because I love spinach in my eggs. And we'll mix that right in. That cooks up good with the eggs. Let this cook down a little bit. Add a couple of little bit of toppings here for once we get them together. While we're cooking our eggs, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So once we get this all cooked up and piled onto our non breads, it's going to be ready to pop right in the oven.
Okay, so we've got our eggs and our veggies all cooked up here for the most part, and we are going to start layering our pizza together. So let's grab our non breads and get started on that. Okay, so we've got our, this is going to make about two pizzas. We've got two non breads here. Um, you could buy these at the grocery store already made, or you can make them yourself. They're really easy to make. Um, so we're just going to put our we're going to start layering our eggs right on there with our veggies. We're going to put half, about half on one pizza and half on the other pizza. Now we're going to put some of our toppings on. I love a little bit of to fresh tomato. Put some of those on there. And some fresh olives. So I just sliced up a couple of olives. We're just going to sprinkle those around. And I just have this on a one of those pizza stones. I really like, they cook really even, and I really like the way they work. So um, I use a stone to cook on. You can use a cookie sheet or whatever you have that you normally cook on. But I really like the way the stones um, heat evenly, and it comes out really nice. So I've got a little bit of... Um, like taco cheese I guess it's a, like a three or four cheese mix um, I like that kind of cheese and I also like the um, mozzarella so I put a little of each on it's really whatever you like you can mix this up any way you want to and make it any way you like to eat it so I'm going to try to keep this on the pizza and just a handful of each will do it. You can put as much or as little cheese on as you like. And that is it. We are going to pop this in the oven. And we're heated up to 350 degrees. And we'll be back in about 20 minutes when this is ready. So we're just pulling our pizzas out of the oven. And they look delicious. We're going to add... We'll cut them up and add a little bit of salsa. Okay, so we're just going to cut these up a little bit so they're easier to eat. Into slices. Pretty hot. As you can see, put it on a little plate. And Add a little scoop of salsa and you're ready to eat. These are so good for you. It's all veggies, absolutely delicious. Some eggs and cheese, lots of protein, vitamins, nutrients. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos. We would love to have you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!